Well, this instrument is called, in English, a flute. In Luganda, which is the main language in central Uganda, it's called endere. Of course, the flute, the other reason it was chosen is that um, it has beautiful music. But it's also the only instrument I know that is found in all cultures in the world. That's why everything is named after the flute. We started with the Ndere Troop. You have the Ndere Center, you have the Ndere Foundation. Everything rotates about the flute. This is the Ndere Cultural Center in Uganda's capital, Kampala. It's where Stephen Wangezi realizes his dream, bringing back traditional Ugandan culture, but with a business approach, as that's the only way to survive. The center makes profit by hosting a variety of cultural events and functions, but to be sustainable, it has to look for more money-generating activities. Originally, the, the purpose was to have an art center, but art for art's sake is not something that you can survive on in this country, it can, uh, where the country's budget does not include um, art and culture. So what I'm trying to bring up are ancillary facilities, things that will be providing the business side in order to raise the money to run the art, the guest accommodation. I'm looking at having at least 60 people being able to reside here, being able to hold meetings here. So we're trying to bring the business side of, um, that, that should raise money to support the art. Constructors are currently building new facilities at the center and all by using traditional materials. The new facilities are part of the expansion of the Ndera Cultural Center, which has been in existence since 2003. Uh, the first show we had were only three people in the audience. Three! And this was our chairman, the guest of honor who was ambassador of Burundi, and his wife. <laughs> Actually, nobody had turned up. But now, every Sunday, we don't advertise on television, we, but the amphitheater is full and we have now provided for a second performances in the week, a performance in the week. Stephen Rongesi has a goal to save traditional Ugandan culture and to bring it together at this center. This is much needed because in the last century many of the traditions have disappeared. Institutions like churches, they deliberately preached against culture and they told you if you wanted to go to heaven you played a piano, you sang the hallelujah chorus, then you are welcome in heaven. If you played the flute, uh, the African version, because I, unless you played it from the side, but if you put it in front, that makes it African. If you played a drum, if it, then you had bought a one-way ticket to hell. And it was so aggressive to the extent that even in 1912, uh, the government enacted the anti-witchcraft law, but which deliberately was meant to stop the playing of drums. The law is still on our papers, so what I'm doing here is illegal, but... Uh, I'm waiting for someone to get the courage to come and arrest me. Ndera is not only a cultural center. Well-known theater groups form part of the business too and are known as the Ndera Troupe. Although being the CEO of the center and the troupe, Stephen is still involved in all the theater productions. What, what is a CEO? To me, a CEO means chief entertainment officer. <laughs> but also, if you are the chief executive officer, then you act, you do it, you execute things. You don't, it, it's not chief commanding officer. But even when you're going to command, you really need to know what you're commanding people. And I think the main uh, dilemma with, with businesses, especially in Africa, is trying to emulate the old colonial governor and instead of doing the work and working with the people and demonstrating and teaching what you started the project for, you instead start commanding people who have no knowledge of whatsoever of what you planned to do. So I believe in doing it, and people know what you are doing, and they do it better. What has happened over the years is that um, the traditional performances have replaced what was, on, what was preferred, which was the brass band and the jazz bands. Now, 
no civilized function gets complete unless there is a cultural performance. So Nderi being the top, really top of the range, all the companies, all the people who are wedding, all the people who have functions do ask us to go, including given the, the heads of state when they visit here, we all play at their dinners and they hire us, we go, look at their program, look at the menu, arrange a program and perform for them. It is not only the high end of the market that is profitable for the Indera troop. They are also experts in communicating with rural communities. This makes them an interesting partner for organizations that want to spread a message to rural areas. It's extremely interesting because uh, what happens is you have people who are coming here with different messages they would like to take to the communities. Health, environment, politics, everything. But people don't read, they don't have television, therefore they come to us. We ask them to pay, we design the theater, then we go and perform for the communities for free. So to us it's an interesting business model, but to the communities it is a free service. And we have gone to the level where one group was not sufficient because the demand was rather very high, and we created other satellite groups which we do train, and uh, now we have uh, 2,084 groups dotted all over the country, which we train, and they handle issues in this area. So if you have something you want to communicate to an area very quickly, all you need to do is to come to Ndere, we take the contract, we train our groups in those areas, these groups are also paid, we are paid, and within one month, everybody in this area has heard this message. So it's very interesting. Ndera Center proves that culture and business can go hand in hand. But even culture has to develop to attract new markets. You've got to look at the dance, you've got to look at the music and respond to the modern art, respond to the modern creativity, respond to the modern tastes. And if you leave it frozen, as it were in the beginning, just because you think the traditional art must not be tampered with, it will die. <laughs>